Uh, do I look in the cameras or do I look at you? At me. Okay. Tell us about yourself. <laughs> I love that question. It's so broad. I could put anything into that. How much granularity do you want? I was born in St. Louis. My parents got divorced when I was about seven. I uh, moved around a lot, you know, never stayed in one place. No, I'm just kidding, I know what you mean. Uh, my name is Ryan Thompson. I'm a multimedia artist. Uh, artist. <sighs> yeah, well, uh, my body of work kind of ranges all over, you know. I've done a lot of, lot of video work, uh, activism, some soundscapes, music design. Uh, I mean, performance art, though, is what I'm probably most well known for. I won the Digby for performance art. Uh, and, and obviously the, the Ian Hink character. Yeah, Ian Hink is uh, it's sort of this tragic figure, you know? Kind of ill-conceived at first, if I'm honest with myself. I've had to lean into a lot of mistakes that uh, were made early on, but uh, they've kind of grown and flourished and become part of the character. And Just sort of the, the nature of the work was taking this kind of, you know, partially out, genderqueer, hipster, only tangentially interested in video games, and then dropping this person into a volatile space like gaming. Uh, it's been interesting, to say the least. Uh, a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. <laughs> well, you know, it's been a lot of what you'd expect on the internet, a lot of slurs, SJW, you know, got Soy Boy the other day, which I'd never heard before, but uh, is actually kind of accurate for the uh, Ian Hink character, you know, but uh, yeah, it's interesting, like, you'll get notes on a song that took two hours to produce as though you worked on it for months. And it's just like, yeah, right, that's that's part of it. And and the Ian Hink character is so interesting because it's it's a character that's easy to read whatever you want onto it. And that's obviously part of the work. That's what makes work like this, and any work like this, powerful is that, you know, it's a blank canvas. People imbue the character with what they want to see. And, um... Some of them have been surprising. Uh, a lot of a lot of people think that the character is very cavalier, very uncaring, very lazy, uh, which, in a sense, I guess is true. There's a very kind of laissez-faire attitude, but it's people read it in a very nihilistic way, uh, which I didn't anticipate. But you know, I play into it here and there. Uh, you know, and then there are other people who think the character is very loving and generous and supportive and kind, and that's all good too. That's all great part of it. It's all been very interesting. <laughs> the worst thing, the most annoying thing, oh, the hair. Like, no question. A lot of people think it's a hair piece, but uh, no, I, I grew that out, you know? You gotta, you really need to embody the character if you're doing work like this, and uh, yeah, the hair is uh, it's a bit much. How do you mean, like, are they, uh, are they in on the joke, so to speak? Yeah, uh, yeah, the Easy Allies guys know. Uh, about the about the work, I, they knew me as me first. You know, I uh, I met most of them when I started. I was doing some freelance work at Viacom a number of years ago. Uh, I don't remember if it was MTV or VH1. Um, doesn't really matter. But uh, my my work there, my freelance work there, uh, kind of evolved over time into this ongoing performance art piece called Ian Hink. And uh, actually, now that I think about it. Um, some of the newer, some of the newer people might have thought Ian Hink was a real person. Uh, Brad, I think I took a side and I was like, "Hey, uh, uh, my name's Ryan. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Ian Hink's not real. I, uh, I guess I'm a little method sometimes. Even, even I get lost in it here and there. Uh, you know, it's part of the work." Ah, <sighs> the question of the hour. Yeah, will I keep going with it? Um, you know, it's honestly, if I'm honest, uh, it's pretty draining work a lot of the time. Uh, but I think the most important work is, and um, yeah, I mean, uh, I've, I've been thinking about sculpture a lot, movement, um, finding a way to put those two things together. I, I, I toyed a lot with sculpture and school and I miss it, you know. I actually <laughs> burned my arm, yeah, it's still pretty tender, uh, burned the back of my arm trying to weld the other day. I, don't ask me how I got that angle. 
Yeah. Whose dog is that? I don't know, but yeah, no. Uh, the uh, you know, I I don't think I'll ever stop the Ian Hink work. Uh, it resonates very strongly with a, a few people that I think need something to resonate with in this day and age. Uh, young people, other gender queer people, uh, you know, and, and that's not something that's phoned in. I'm, I'm a member of that community myself, so it, uh, you know, a lot of things about the Ian Hink character are pretty true to life. Uh, you know, uh, people accuse the work of being self-centered and uh, what work isn't. You know, answer me that. But no, I, I think that, uh, you know, despite sometimes wanting to kill the character, I don't think I ever will. I don't think I'll ever stop with it. Anything else? Um, stay in school, kids. Don't do art. Great job. Yeah, no, thanks. That was fun. Let us know if you ever want to come back. Anytime, yeah.